Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and if this car looks familiar, it's because I recently ceramic coated it for my customer with Owner's Pride. We did the three-year coating. We just got done doing our tires and wheels. They look fantastic. I applied a refresher to our wheels. Tire coating is still going strong. This is Lone Star Tire Coating. That is about 45 days after I've coated it, looking fantastic. We're gonna do our first initial rinse. I haven't hit it with any sort of water. Let's see what kind of hydrophobics we have now that the product is fully cured. You can see here, customers washed it twice since they brought it to me. We still have amazing gloss. He said the maintenance is so much easier for him. It doesn't get as dirty as quickly. We've had a lot of rain. Let me just show you here. This is the amount of dirty water beads that you can see on the trunk end and that's typical of any vehicle when you've driven through the rain but the rest of the vehicle is pretty much clean looking it's just lightly dusty that's the beauty of ceramic coating so let's go ahead hit this this is a sheeting coating more than beading which means it's going to help prevent water spots so keep that in mind when you watch the hydrophobics Now this is typical of a lot of ceramic coatings. Mind you, you see how it's sheeting, which is fantastic. Most, majority of the water is going to kind of run off the panel. But if you see where the hydrophobics may be a little bit stalled, we're gonna wash this and then I wanna show you the hydrophobics after because this is the number one concern that customers will have when they contact me about ceramic coating saying, it's not beating anymore. So what we're gonna do, what happens is when you drive through the rain and you get road film and dirt, and debris, sometimes that film can clog the ceramic coating. So what we're gonna do is wash that properly and then you'll see the hydrophobics come back to life. But we're gonna go ahead, complete our rinse. We're gonna do our contact wash with OP Superwash and get this baby looking good. And then we're gonna top her with Owner's Pride Ceramic Detailer. So let's get this baby washed. All right, so we washed our vehicle, dried our vehicle. We're looking good. We're in the home stretch now. We're just buttoning up some uh, some smaller details that need to be taken care of. Customer has some sort of sap on the vehicle, and I'm in the process of removing it. Uh, for any of you that have a non-coated vehicle, you know how problematic tree sap, bird poop, water spots, acid rain, uh, exterior environmental contaminants, how treacherous they can be to your clear coat. Because your clear coat is unprotected. You're maybe relying on a wax that, you know, can wash off with soap. And so when you have those contaminants on your paint, they can actually etch into your clear coat, which is super precious and super thin. And you only get, you know, one time around of clear coat. Once it's gone or once it's etched into, you know, to be able to fix it, you either have to do a, a severe compound or possible respray of your clear coat, which can be very expensive. But if you have a ceramic coated vehicle, you have actually a sacrificial layer on top 
of your clear coat. So if you have any of those contaminants that go onto your vehicle, your clear coat is protected. Yeah, yeah. That allows the ceramic coating to take the brunt of those contaminants and environmental elements that cause harm to clear coat. So what I have here, this is just actually PNS alcohol antiseptic topical solution. 75, it's essentially 75% isopropyl alcohol. So what we're doing, we have a plush microfiber. We're just going to come in here and just look how easily those, the sap wipes right off the vehicle. So the customer is going to be able to have a beautifully restored clear coat. We're going to buff all that off. We're actually going to rinse it off. We'll dry it again. And then we're going to top this with our ceramic detailer. So that way we are having maximum amount of gloss and protection on this vehicle. But you can just see just as easy as wiping. I don't know. Can you see? Let's see. There's some spots right here. We're just going to come in here. I don't even have to let it sit on the clear coat. I just have to wipe and it's coming right off. Hand sanitizer or alcohol is actually a really great way to get tree sap off of a vehicle. If it's super thick, almost gel-like, you might have to let it sit, but be careful because it can etch into your clear if you are on a hot day and you let it sit for too long. The reason I'm using a plush microfiber is there's less risk of scratching the paint. But this isn't going to damage the, the ceramic coating whatsoever. It's not going to damage the clear coat. We're going to rinse this off. We're going to replenish our topper with ceramic detailer. Customer isn't even going to know that this was here. They probably didn't even notice it. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. We're going to rinse this off, dry it. I'm going to put our ceramic detailer on and get this thing mm -mm good. All right, guys, we are all done with our Owner's Pride ceramic coating maintenance wash. This is our first time doing a maintenance wash on this vehicle. It's about 45 days after we coated it-ish. They weren't able to get in that kind of 30-day window that I ideally like, but we still have fantastic gloss, shine, look at that reflection. Did we have some issues on the hood? Yes, and we were able to easily and quickly remedy that no issues to the coating whatsoever whoo is that slick that ceramic detailer that just kind of takes it up a notch you can just see the gloss is off the charts when you combine these three products right here owner's pride super wash ceramic plus drying aid and ceramic detailer you have killer end results super easy to use user friendly the results speak for itself. Look at that gloss. The fact that the customers only had to wash it two times in the last 45 days, and we've had a lot of wet days lately. He actually told me all he did was take it to a car wash, pulled into one of the bays, used the soap from the car wash, used their high pressure hose to rinse it off, then used a spotless rinse to rinse it off, drove it home, and this is the pretty much end result that he's been getting. You wanna talk about easy maintenance. It doesn't get any easier than that. Even in the winter time, this is safe for you to use to protect your vehicle long-term, wash your vehicle. You don't have to go through any of the damaging brushes or you know, go through even the soft touch automatic car washes that are 11, 12, $13. You can go to the, the self-cleaning bays, like for what, two, two, three dollars max, keep your vehicle maintained all winter long if you don't have access to water or even a rinseless method. And this is a fantastic way to preserve your vehicle's finish without damaging it. Bring it home, pull it in, top it with ceramic detailer. 
you could do that once a month you're good to go use a ceramic plus as a drying aid if you do take it to the automatic car washes you're going to safely dry your vehicle replenish any sort of hydrophobics to the vehicle for any of you that are interested in having a product like this put on your vehicle don't hesitate to reach out to me we're actually running a promotion right now so head over to my Facebook business page A to D Lancaster uh, on Facebook and uh, message me because I'd love to be able to help you preserve and protect your investment for the long haul for any of you who are a detailer I know I have anywhere from customers to professional detailers to enthusiasts that follow my channel for any of you that are wanting to find out information on how you can get your hands on a ceramic coating like this that is so easy to apply it's taken the stress out of ceramic coatings for me it actually makes them fun for me to apply 45 minutes is how long it took for me to apply this this ceramic coating to this customer's vehicle and they are super satisfied and happy with the results and I couldn't be happier with the end results as well so I'm ecstatic this is actually my first maintenance wash for owner's pride ceramic coating and I'm in love you can't find a better product than this for a customer's vehicle even if you have a brand new vehicle and you want to have a legal and compliant warranty that goes along with it so that way if you have issues with your clear coat if you get rock chips if you get any sort of foggy or uh, faded headlights, anything damaged to you know your wheel, your wheel um, clear coat starts to fail, and you have those coated with owner's pride, that's covered under the warranty. It's essentially the type of warranty that you would find from a dealership at a far more affordable price, and you're actually going to have proper prep and a little bit more hands-on communication than just the dealership slapping something on there 30 minutes later saying you're good to go and you drive it home and you have no idea what's on your vehicle. There's no question about what you're getting here. You're getting quality, you're getting customer service, and you're getting satisfaction. So I hope you guys enjoy kind of this lengthier look. I apologize. I'm going to try to edit it so it's not so long, but this is just fun for me to be able to do ceramic coatings, maintenance washes like this, to be able to see an end result like this speaks for itself. Anyways, we're going to head out. We're going to wrap this one up for the day. But thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions about the coding, if you're a customer interested, feel free to message me. If you're a detailer looking to see how you can get your hands on this for your customers, uh, again, feel free to message me. I'm going to try to put the link down below for Owner's Pride, uh, the installer page. That way, if you want to see if you uh, qualify, again, very easy process. They're fantastic guys over there. The uh, detailer support over there is bar none. So Brian, Dustin, Dan, Bob, Damon, Logan, you guys, fantastic. I'm absolutely loving it, Alan. Um, thank you again for following, for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.